Sometimes it can be difficult to know what to be thankful for. And my Thanksgiving wish to you is to find the things around you that make you happy. And I know sometimes that can be a challenge, but you can do your best. (laughs) Dive in, take a look around. Sometimes it's something simple, right? Your cat's at your feet. Your dog is smiling at you as you come in the door, you know. You walk outside and you hear a bird singing happily in the tree. I'm thankful for these things. As I watch my turkeys walk around the property, these, some of these, um, I'm processing for the poor in my area. I won't talk more about that in this video because I think we need to keep this positive. Um, But I'm thankful for my geese. I'm thankful for these two ornaments that my great-grandmother left me. I was at her home once and as a child, my adopted great-grandmother, and I saw these on her tree. They were on a light string. They have long since burned out. So I hot glued them inside these little candle holders so that I could clip them onto my Christmas tree. These are among some of my most treasured possessions and I'm very thankful for them. I'm thankful that I have the ability to create from my mistakes as you saw in a previous video, that I can take something that I was unhappy with and create something that'll make other people happy. What could be better than that? I'm thankful for this Carolina snail seed that grows on my property. It's like little Christmas ornaments in the trees, and this time of the year, it's hard to find color. They're poisonous, so I can't use them in a soap but they sure lift your spirits when you're out walking in the woods. I'm thankful for Sparkles the goat. He is the patriarch, the father of most all of my other goats. I have him tied out here for the day, just eating some grass. He's kept separate from the females, except during breeding time for many different reasons. But I'm so glad he's such a sweet, kind goat. Look at those horns he has, but he's completely harmless. Well, first of all, he's very small, but he's a great goat and a good little friend. That's his son. That's Sprinkles. Both Sparkles and Sprinkles have very gentle personalities, and their offspring will have kind personalities, as did their father Hercules. I'm very thankful for that. Other people have a lot of problems with their goats that I don't have. I love that. I'm thankful that even after the freezes that I still have delicious fennel bulbs in my garden that I can harvest and eat, Uh, that I have leeks growing, that there's food in abundance even in the coldest part of winter. That's wonderful. You may remember this tallow tree that I showed you back a few months ago. It's now all dried up and the leaves are dead. But remember I said it was also called a popcorn tree? Well, that's because of the way the seeds look in the winter. And I'm thankful that I am able to have this because I can make oils from these seeds. They provide feed for the wildlife in the area and they provide beautiful winter interest when there's not much else to see. So I'm very thankful. I'm thankful I was able to save Stevie the squirrel's life from being eaten by cats (laughs) and that he is such a tame, wonderful, almost loving little animal. Yes, he's caged here. It's because he's outdoors and it's still dangerous for him outdoors, but I'm so happy to have been able to help him. And of course, 
I'm thankful for Barry the dog, my buddy. I love him so. This is Mary the Wonder Dog, one of my three great Pir- Great Pyrenees <laughs> that protect my livestock. She's just a lovely girl. I just think the world of her, and I'm so thankful that she's mine. I'm thankful for my new mothers and their babies. They're just so cute. I just love them so much. <laughs> they make life so much more pleasurable. And what more could you ask for? I'm thankful for all of my flock. They help to keep the weeds down. They certainly do keep me company. But in addition to that, they keep taxes low as well. (laughs) I just love them. I think there's a new mother over here. They like to go under the trees. And she's by herself. When they separate, they're usually either in labor or they've had the baby. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mama. Do you have a baby with you yet? No, not yet, huh? You're getting ready, though, aren't you? I wanted you to hear. She's talking to her baby, and it's trying to answer her. Oh no, is it twins? Oh dear. Okay, folks, I think we have twins. Another one coming. Here comes another one. Here comes another one. Oh, we got twins. We got twins. So as you can see, my life is very rich and full. I have so much to be thankful for. And you know, I'm thankful for you too. Thank you all so very much. Uh, It means the world to me that you are here. And I'm sorry, I know some of this may be a little gross, but it's life. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.